Nürburgring Nordschleife. 13 miles of winding tarmac with 73 corners and only two straight lines. There are right and left handers, sharp turns, off camber curves, steep hills, blind crests, and fast downhill runs. For 35 years, BMW M has put every one of its new vehicles to the test on this unforgiving ribbon of asphalt. So the Nürburgring is very brutal to the car. If you have one weakness in the car, you will see it very, very quick at that track. M stands for Motorsport, the company within a company that BMW founded in 1972. Created for the most discerning drivers in the world, M models uniquely combine power, agility, and innovation unlike any other vehicle. But just how is this high-performance automotive icon crafted at M? It all starts in the BMW, fits in the BMW Research and Development Center, where the base car for an M car comes to life. It's a 3 series, a 5 series, a 6 series, and it's a very good basis to start from. So we start with a BMW, and then we make a BMW M. The challenge for an M designer is that he starts with a beautiful BMW product and now he's thinking about what he can change, how much he can change, how much he must change for our customers, which are different customers. Clay is reshaped based on input from aerodynamics testing in the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel is so important for M design because of the results of the wind tunnel. If we get a downforce in the front more than in the rear, that's okay. But if we get much more than on the rear, that's not okay for the driver. The results not always are the results the designer likes to have. But he has to live with and has to react and bring this in a beautiful, interesting form. We have our main facility in Garching, where we do all the suspension and vehicle development and where we have the workshops where we build the prototype cars. Every M prototype is built by hand here, including the selection of fine Bavarian hides for the seats and hand stitching the M steering wheel with the characteristic blue, violet and red thread. M engines are developed in the Preussenstrasse facility in Munich. Here we are in the center of BMW M engine development, the workshop for the prototype engines. Here are our first secret prototype engines are assembled by hand by our specialists. Once the prototype is ready for testing, it is installed in the dynamometer chamber. Inside walls 12 inches thick for safety, it runs at speeds up to 186 miles per hour, while the exhaust reaches red hot temperatures. When the engine is ready for the road, then real-world testing begins on the long-distance test rig, simulating racing speeds and maneuvers around the clock. But nothing beats the real torture test at Germany's most demanding and legendary racetrack, the Nürburgring Nordschleife. BMW has built a testing facility trackside at the Nürburgring, enabling its engineers to move quickly from evaluating a car on the track to making adjustments in the test center before heading back out again. Well, the prototypes are equipped with test engineering that detects and controls every part of the car. But uh, beyond that, the test driver's senses are in demand. He needs to feel the car's responses. For example, how does it behave in turns? Uh, so an important measuring instrument is the popometer, the seat of your pants. From the high revving engines to the extremely responsive steering, chassis and brakes, an M car is engineered to give the driver a heightened awareness of how the car is interacting with the road. All the controls are very responsive and very sensitive. So the way you can activate the throttle and the way the engine responses, how responsive, how close, how direct, how tight that is, that is really unique. 48 enthusiasts from the USA were among the first in the world to drive the V8 414 horsepower BMW M3.
Motorsports has always been my passion. So to come actually to the home of it, uh, what we consider the home of it back in the States, it's just incredible experience. Speed looks great handling, great comfort, and uh, you know, great track driving. I mean, it's wonderful. This once-in-a-lifetime experience opened many eyes to the passion that permeates BMW M. The driving experience and just the passion of the people who make the product and then the passion that goes into the car. I mean, you really feel that when you're in these cars. To be able to get everything out of an M car, to really bring it to the limit and then control an M car at the limit, I think this is what our M car drivers enjoy.